USA Walmart stores are getting another Fast and Furious set. By the way, this set is showing up outside the USA. It's right now it's in the USA, only USA Walmart stores. Unfortunately, I only found these two cars. I would love to do a case unboxing video, so I bought a case off of eBay. This seller said he had an unopened case, factory sealed case. I make the purchase, then he tells me, by the way, I custom packed your case. Then I get the case. It's a regular Hot Wheels case. I paid a premium for a Fast and Furious factory sealed case, not for you to custom pack a case. So needless to say, I got nearly half my money back. I decided to go ahead and keep the case. I got nearly half my money back. Then I find a reputable person. They say, nope, Mark, I love your videos. Trust me, I'm going to get you a factory sealed case. And then I say, pack it nicely, please. So there you go. Look, put a case in a box. Look how this guy, what did this guy do? Put some, put some packing tape on there and he just threw it in the mail. Come on, man. So let's get on with the, let me make sure no invoice or something pops out. Now, as far as people buying and, and selling cases, if they, if they find the whole case and they sell it, you know what, they found it, it's theirs. All right, I got no problem with it. I would have loved to have found it myself, but that's the way it goes. And that's what the case looks like, Hot Wheels Fast and Furious. Eight count assortment, see there's eight different cars. There's still 72 cars in the case though. By the way, they do not, they're not even sets. So I understand why the original seller custom packed the case because he wanted to, he thought maybe I wanted, you know, nine even sets of cars. No, I didn't pay a premium for that. I paid the premium because I wanted to be the person to cut the seal and do the video. That's why I paid the premium for the, the, for the uh, case. So when I'm done, uh, I'll figure out exactly. Oh, wow. They actually packed it really nice. Uh, there's been the last Fast and Furious assortment. It wasn't so evenly distributed in the case like this. So here you have the Porsche 911 GT3 RS. Nice graphics. Headlight tampos. This, um, I think this is the first time a Porsche has actually showed up in the Fast and Furious lineup. I don't recall it uh, being before. I don't, I don't recall a Porsche being in the lineup before. The Subaru was released before, but we have a new color. And the reason why this set is a hot set is because this is the only set time the Honda, no, this is the second time the Honda S2K showed up and it's a, it got a different color. The last time it was pink, now it's black. Skyline was in it before. Roadrunner, I can't remember. Porsche, I think, like I said, first time. Corvette Grand Road Sport Roadster, <laughs> this is the only, car I found in Target, I mean, uh, Walmart, but I don't know, at a glance, it looks exactly like the basic uh, release that was in the Hot Wheels regular assortment. Ford Escort looks the same. I don't know about the wheels, though. I didn't check that. Supra has been in the assort in Fast and Furious before, but look, no graphics. That's because it's Brian's white Supra, and Subaru, it was only in one previous assortment, and here it is a second time, but it gets a special color for the, not, this case, it gets a not special color. But it gets new, new graphics for this uh, assortment. How about, how about we scan through these? Maybe we find an error real quick. I look for missing windshields, mixed wheels, missing wheels, tampo slides. That's what, uh, as an error collector, that's what you look for, those kinds of things. Oh, this one mixed in. There you go. There's the Subaru. Oh, we'll be right back. We're looking for errors real quick here. Is that all the Porsche? There's all the Porsches, I guess. I'll get to that in a second. Here you have the Subaru WRX STI. Second release in a Fast and Furious set. The other one was like a silver, silverish color, I do, I do believe. Very nice, looks fantastic. There's a look at all of them. Uh, my light's out of place. Hang on. Okay, much better. I don't remember if I took a close-up on this one, so we'll take a look at that. Uh, no, no details on the tail. Nothing in the front. So you have the side and top tampo decorations. The Porsche. Nothing on the back. Has a uh, plastic inserts for lights. 
and it does have a Porsche logo in the middle there. Looks good. A few more Subarus. Now here is uh, Brian's white 94 Toyota Supra. Uh, yeah, people are really, uh, I believe someone said this is the last car that Brian drove in the movie. Uh, I don't recall myself, sorry. Just basic white. Jada had a white Supra too. If you bought the uh, building collect, you got to, you'd have to buy all the cars and then you get to put together the, the white Supra. I don't notice any errors. And here's a, this is Brian's other car, right? Uh, I don't remember what wheels the other one had. The regular release, 70 Ford Escort RS 1600. Uh, the blues, is it, the, I don't think the blues are exactly the same. I'm gonna have to get, uh, I'm gonna set this aside. I'm gonna have to get a car, check that out. I have one real close. I'll just go get it in a minute. No errors, I don't see nothing. Oh yeah, people are, uh, this is another thing. So people are buying the cases and reselling the sealed cases. They're also taking all the Skylines. Nissan Skyline GTR R34. They're selling these in lots uh, and they're making a ton of money. Very popular car. I believe uh, this was released before and at a glance, I think it was the same as the previous release. I'm not positive though, sorry. We love, it would be fantastic to get one with missing parts. Those are my favorite kinds of errors. If it's like in the wrong package, man, I don't even look to be honest with you. I don't even pay attention to that. Just look at the car. Here you have the 70 Plymouth Roadrunner. It almost looks Zamac, but that is painted. Zamac would be just the bare metal. No graphics in the back. No printing, I should say. Yeah, Zamac would be bare metal. It does not look like uh, bare metal. A missing interior would be pretty nice. Missing interiors are <laughs> pretty rare. Uh, but it does happen, you know. And here's the one I already seen at uh, Walmart. Found it myself. If I, if I have, I think I have one of these loose real quick. I can just go grab one after I've checked all these out. Corvette Grand Sport Roadster tail lights. No headlights. I don't see any printing on the sides or the top. I guess the license plate and brake lights though. Oh, the Honda SDK is coming up. That's a nice one. There it is. Looks pretty cool. I like it. I'm gonna go grab the, I'm gonna go. Now I never found the pink one in stores either. That's the one that uh, people were snagging up, the pink one from the previous release. I'll go grab one of those so that you can see that too in case you didn't know about it. And then uh, compare them. And then if, uh, if maybe it's something, if you don't have one, it'll be something on your uh, need to acquire list if you want one. Very good. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm going to go look for, I'm going to grab a few cars. Okay, I pulled a couple cars to look at. Some I can't, like this one. I don't know what the previous one looked like. It looked, I think it was like this. Let me know. Uh, I gotta get, I'm working on getting my uh, super six lane raceway set back up. I gotta paint a new thing. So uh, I can't look up every car to check them out. Sorry, if you let me know, that'd be great. Here is the 2016 version of the Honda S2K. 
Here is the 2017 version. Both of them just look fantastic. Really, really neat to have in the collection. Even though this black's kind of hard to see, it's just really, really neat car. Now this year you have the white Supra. I happen to find this one at 99 cents only. I talked about that in the weekend show. So if you watched the weekend show, you would have found out that they showed up at 99 cents only. The 94 Toyota Supra, the previous color that last year was like this. And then uh, it actually was released before. I can't take that one out because it's, it's buried. But uh, yeah, the, now that I think about it, I think it's the third color for the Supra. So let's check out the two basic cars. Corvette Grand Sport Roadster, I told you it was released in the basics. This was a regular Hot Wheel, regular $1 Hot Wheel. And so far, the color is almost identical. You know what, this one, the new one, does not have like a metallic paint finish. Uh, it does, has no glitter, no metallic paint to it. It's more of a, it's not flat, but it, it does not have any shimmer to it. So I can see that right away. And as far as Brian's, uh, Escort RS, oops, I wasn't ready to show you that. Okay, yeah, it does have different wheels. This was the regular Hot Wheels release in the $1 assortment. And look, it had gold five-spoke wheels. Here you have the Fast and Furious 2017 set, and it has the uh, newer style wheels. Well, it's been around a couple years. I never remember the name of them. But uh, there is a difference in the color of the paint. So if you like this car and you think, well, I'll pass on that because it is different. So if you like to get it, because if you like that car and you want to get a new one, different wheels, different paint. Uh, now at a convention, they had a Fast and Furious theme for downhill racing, any Fast and Furious car. So I opened up a bunch of the Escort RS 1600s, thinking that would be a faster car. Eh, it was not. I did not win. I can't remember which one turned out to be faster. But uh, open up a bunch, and then when I opened up this one, I check it out. Uh, no painting on the wheel there. Pretty, that's a pretty cool error to have. I gotta set this one aside so I don't uh, mess it up. Have it get in track time or some type of future show. I gotta hold that one separate. I got a bunch of them I opened up to test. That one I'm gonna hang on. Thank you for taking time out of your day to check out this video. If you'd like to see some more, here's a few links. Thank you for watching and happy collecting. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.